Good morning. I had a very nice time at the Trail Angels house, Chuck and Donna. It was pretty cool getting their number from some other hikers. Uh, I was just kind of having a conversation with some other hikers, mentioned Bland, they gave me their number. I called like two hours in advance and they were just so accommodating. Like they really want to help hikers. They get calls and texts every day and shuttle hikers into town and he mentioned if he liked me he'd like me he'd let me stay at his house and apparently he liked me so I got a steak dinner did my laundry took a shower in the morning I got like eggs and sausage for breakfast and he brought me back to trail at 7 30. Oh, also last night um, after dinner it was late but I mentioned I didn't have that much food so he drove me to the Love's truck stop which I don't have in the Northeast, but it was just a really big gas station. So I was able to do a resupply for about a day's worth of food uh, because today I'm actually gonna walk by another gas station so I can resupply again and not have to carry too much weight. Uh, so that was a really good experience. Just, I think that's a huge part of the AT is the trail angels and some trail angels will meet you on the side of the road and give you a drink and a snack, but some trail angels will just invite you into their home. So that was pretty cool. So like I said, I started hiking at 7.30. The next town that I want to resupply in is Parisburg, Virginia, which is 40 something miles away. So that's a pretty good two day stretch. I can do two 22 mile days in a row and then be in another town so I think that lined up perfectly. I did text the Angels Rest Hostel this morning. I wanted a private room. They are out of private rooms and I'm just not really thrilled with the idea of staying in a bunkhouse so I might start looking at other options like motels. Uh, the Parisburg is only like a mile away from the trail so that makes it easy. I don't have to really get a shuttle. I can just kind of walk in if I need to. So I'm gonna think about that, plan that, and hike today. It's 10.30, time for my first break. I've hiked 7.3 miles. Found a nice little log to sit on. And this is what I'm looking at right now. This is the 600 mile marker of the AT. I'm doing a little bit of an earlier lunch because I know later today I'll be at Trent's, Trent's Grocery and it's like a little convenience store but they have, I don't know, a place where you can order food. I remember getting a burger there last time. So I figured I can have an early lunch and then a late lunch and then maybe a late dinner too. So when I was at the gas station last night I kind of got some real food for lunch. So I have was like turkey and cheese sandwich, a bag of chips, and then after I'll have some cookies for dessert. So I think this is going to be a nice filling lunch after I already had a filling breakfast and I'll have a real meal later. So hopefully I'm just super fueled today. Just wrapped up lunch, had a section hiker join me for a little bit, sat right there. Uh, my lunch. I, I never really do this, but I just kind of calculated the calories. It was 800. I've been thinking about maybe doing a day kind of comparing how many calories I eat versus how many calories I burn during a typical day out here. So if you're curious about that, I could do a video. Um, so let me know. I am right now completely out of water. So I'm gonna hike another one mile to a water source and then continue on. Now I'm at mile 603. If you know why I'm pointing that out, let me know in the comments. That was a tough stretch to do without water. So like a mile after the 600 mark where I ate lunch, there was a puddle of water, but it wasn't flowing. And so I decided not to drink from it. I just really feel a lot better when water sources are flowing. So, I had to hike another like three or four miles after that uh, to get to this water source. And I hiked like 0.1 or 0.2 off the trail and this is by a shelter. But yeah, that was, that was kind of rough. Um, I had like a liter, 
maybe almost a liter of Gatorade at the house this morning before I left, and then one liter of water while I was hiking. But I don't think that was enough today, so I'm really gonna camel up at this water source. And then Trent's Grocery is in six and a half miles. I think I'm gonna have both Gatorade and a soda there. I just feel like drinking everything today. All right, there's some power lines right here, so a little bit of a view. I don't even know how many days in a row it's been hot with no clouds, but it's been some nice hiking weather. Every day definitely does start cold and it gets hot around like 1 or 2 p.m. So definitely sweating right now. This is the little side trail I've been waiting for after over 17 and a half miles taking the road to Trent's Grocery to hopefully have a nice lunch and some beverages. Mostly like vitamin water I'm craving, uh, definitely Diet Coke, but we'll see what's there when I get there. It's like half a mile I think down the road and then I'll have to hike half a mile back, but it, my eyes it's totally worth it. <laughs> It's almost four o'clock right now, but honestly, this day has flown by really quickly. All right, now that I am totally full with chicken tenders and fries, that was actually like a pretty big portion. Um, I'm gonna wobble my way back to trail. <laughs> I remember doing this last time and just being totally stuffed, but I'm happy to be full of food right now. And I did pick up a little bit of a resupply, um, just like $13 worth of like Cliff Bars and peanut butter crackers and Snickers. And then I got like a Propel water in here. So, do still don't know where camp is gonna be. It could be anywhere from like one to seven miles. And I'm sure it's like, I don't know, between four and five o'clock right now. We shall see. So another through hiker brought up this topic and this message I'm about to say does not apply to him at all. Uh, what he did didn't bug me. Um, I didn't think anything of it. And that's the topic of asking people where they're gonna camp. Um, I think it's fine for like, through hikers to ask through hikers, especially if you have seen them a few times and you start like a little friendship with them. But asking someone who you've never met, um, it's a little weird. Uh, people who aren't even hiking the trail asking me where I'm gonna sleep tonight, that's definitely weird. Um, some people are probably very harmless and they're just trying to like start a conversation and be friendly, but it definitely is a weird subject to be talking about. I'm usually very vague. Um, I never give like a specific answer to someone who I don't know. I'm usually like, oh, I don't know. Just hike until I feel like stopping or, oh, I'll call a hostel later. Yeah, it, it, it's weird going to like a local little gas station by myself and having locals who aren't hikers asking me where I'm camping. <laughs> uh, times like this, it would be nice to have a hiking partner. I don't feel unsafe right now um, at all, but I don't know. I feel like that's just a message I wanted to, to say in this video, just, just in case you ever have the urge of asking someone where they sleep, maybe it won't come across to them the same way that you're, you're meaning for it to. Uh, if that makes sense.
So it is 6.45 p.m. and I've hiked 22 and a half miles. This is the time where I'm starting to look for somewhere to camp. I did just pass like a big open field that I could kind of see through the woods or through the trees and it looked like a decent amount of tents were set up there and I think that would have been fun but right now I'm in the mindset of the more I hike tonight the less I have to hike tomorrow uh, because tomorrow I will be hiking into Parisburg and I'd rather spend more time in town. So I'm getting the miles in tonight. There's about four miles until a shelter. So I think that's my plan. And I'm kind of hoping I can do that before the sun goes down. I think it'll be easy hiking into camp a little later because of the fact that I just had a huge dinner, lunch. I don't know, whatever you call eating at four o'clock is. Um, I just had a lot of food at Trent's Grocery. So I feel like I don't have to spend time tonight at camp making food. I could probably just have something quick for my snack, get some calories in, and then go to bed. It is survivor night. I'm not super confident that there's going to be service in this area, so I might not be able to stream it. But if I can't, I'll just watch it tomorrow if I get into the motel. I did call the motel to try to get a reservation in Parisburg and they didn't answer, so I'll try again tomorrow morning when I can. Hi. With a little over a mile left, I'm starting to pick up the pace. I really want to do this before it gets dark and before I have to put my headlamp on. Just because of the amount of deer I've seen and like the amount of rustling in the woods. Um, last time I night hiked, I kept seeing eyeballs with my headlamp and that's freaky. And just this area, it's, I don't know. If, I always get the feeling like if I was a bear, I'd be here. So I want to get to the shelter and hopefully there's other people there. That's when I feel a little bit better.